I think we're live. Hey, so we're going to be doing this a little bit different today. Uh, if you catch this live, great. Um, I'd, I'd love to chat with you for a few minutes, or uh, we're just going to do it this way and you guys can see it. A um, little weird. Uh, so you're obviously seeing this is not up at noon uh, uh, Central Standard Time, and it's a live stream and not a, uh, um, a video upload. I honestly, guys, I just had way too, uh, way too much going on with the holidays, and I could not find the time to set up my studio and video and all that kind of stuff. I don't have a dedicated space for a studio. I've just got whatever room happens to be empty at the time when everybody else is asleep, and I usually shoot them then and then put them up. That didn't happen, uh, as you can imagine. This time had too much other stuff going on. So I'm really sorry that uh, we're doing this a little different today. But I hope you guys will forgive me. It's the holidays, and um, I, I could not find the time to do anything else differently. So um, the first thing you guys are probably going to want to know about, Back in Black and Gold, uh, that uh, is going to be announced on my community page. The winner of that random comment on my last video, that will be announced today on the community page. Don't know who it is yet uh, as of shooting this or being live or whatever, but uh, congratulations to whoever the lucky winner is. I can't wait to, uh, to tell you. I'm really excited like a younger, thinner, slightly less wrinkly Santa Claus. Uh, this is my uh, giveaway for this week. It's the bullet. And let me tell you, that's uh, silver right there on the barrel and the cap. And then these black accents. It is just a really, really, really pretty pen. Um, I think I'm going to have to get myself one because I'm just too excited about it. Um, so... Let's go ahead and uh, tell you what you do for this one. This one, I want you to leave a comment on this video. Tell me what you got for Christmas. I'm going to choose a random comment. Um, tell me what you got for Christmas down in the uh, uh, comments below. And if you want to pick one of these up, if you want to buy one uh, from Mr. Jim Paradise, you can get one 20% uh, off this week using the promo code Magic Minute Bullet. And you can uh, pick up that 20% off. Um, I might just go ahead and take advantage of that sale if I can myself because it's awesome. I don't know if I can do that. It might be kind of nepotismic, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, get one. Uh, today I was supposed to show you the $100 bill switch. I'm going to do that as quickly as possible. Uh, the most important thing you need to know here is that you're going to need a thumb tip for it. If you want one of those, I'll leave a uh, link again in the description uh, with the link to my favorite ones. And then you're going to need two bills, different denominations, or you can have a high denomination bill and borrow a little smaller one, or there's lots of different combos we'll get into. But the idea here is you want to make sure that the bills are folded into sixteenths that way. Halves and down, halves and a hamburger hot dog, hamburger hot dog down into sixteenths. Kind of like we did for the um, Miser's Dream, or not the Miser's Dream, the Bank Night presentation, okay? And uh, I'm going to start with a $20 bill folded up that way. And the all the folded edges and the long folded edge down, all the short end folds are going to go towards the thumb tip like that. Okay? So that just goes on your thumb. You hang out. You borrow a bill. And this is going to be a lot easier if you have the bill pre-folded. Um, the best way I found to do this is do the topsy-turvy George Washington thing. A lot of you guys probably know that already, but I'm going to go in here for completeness. You take the George Washington and you fold them up like this and you go, look, if I just squeeze it like this and then I open it up, now George Washington is upside down. And people go, yeah, yeah, that's, that's cute. Yeah, whatever. Um, it's something that uh, you, you see as a kid sometimes. It's a, it's a kind of an interesting mystery. But I, the way I explain it is I say, hey, look, when I was a kid, I thought what was happening was that the ink was moving on the bill, not that the bill was flipping upside down, but the ink had been moved and the bill had stayed stationary. And uh, I, was, I thought about that. What if you could really do that? Well, you could turn them upside down, but wouldn't there be cooler things you could do? Like, you know, I'll show, well, I'll show you. And then you would fold it like this. And then you don't let the bill leave their sight. But as soon as you open it back up, it is now a $20 bill. Yeah. 
Yeah, that'd be that'd be something I do if I can move around the ink on a bill, you know. So the, it, it's pretty easy to do in, in in practice. I'm gonna have to I think shift my camera just a little bit. This is very tough to teach head on. I'd really like to teach it that. In fact, I'm gonna teach it this way. Imagine you got a, a nice bird's eye view down, okay? And we're gonna change the one dollar bill for or the twenty dollar bill for the one dollar bill. So you're gonna fold in half, and then fold them down again. Remember, this is bird's eye view. You're not doing this towards the audience like this. And then your fingers are going to come over to push this flat forward. And as they do, your right thumb is going to pull the thumb tip off into finger palm of the right hand and leave the $1 bill or the other bill behind that packet. Okay? Your index fingers fold down. You turn the whole package over as you get your finger inside that folded edge and open up the other bill, effectively just uh, switching them right in front of everybody. The cool part is you can do this at the fingertips without ever having to cover anything really, and it looks so clean. Get your fingers inside that flap, and again, you're going to open up, but as you do, you're going to push the other bill into the thumb tip, push it on, open up that bill, and then continue onward like that, opening it all the way up. Now you're not limited to changing ones and twenties and tens and hundreds and all that kind of stuff. You can also do stuff like take two $1 bills and convert them into a $2 bill, squeeze them together and then, and then they turn into a $2 bill and give it away. You're not out of any money and $2 bills are actually easy enough to get a hold of if you ask any uh, cashier or whatever at any place to go to, or if you go to the bank, they got them. And so you can just bring in a whole bunch of two dollar or dollars and they'll give you a bunch of two dollar bills and you can just give them away it's super cool and it's just a weird magical object and you don't get to see them that often super cool you could also change the writing you could you could have two identical bills but one has like scribbles on it and the other one has a bunch of writing on it and then you switch out the scribbly one for the one with writing on it all kinds of stuff my friend diamond jim does a thing with hole punch where the words happy birthday appear in a bill uh, Jay Sankey's got a whole video out on on uh, lots of stuff you can do with the $100 bill switch. It is a really useful move. Um, why can I teach it? Uh, because it be kind of became public domain through means of never being taken and put in the market. It was, I think, discovered by an American magician when he was traveling in Russia. There was some guy that did it there. And um, he said that he said, oh, this is really cool. I'm going to take that back to the States. And then kind of told everybody about it and everybody came up with the variations and, and other effects that you could do with it and everything. So it just kind of just uh, went whoop and then exploded everywhere. If you want to learn more about it, I will leave a uh, link in the description for a resource or book that was written by a guy named John Lovick, uh, all about the $100 bill switch, the history of it and lots of variations and other techniques. So I hope you guys like that. Remember, Magic Minute Bullet and uh, you guys could win. See you guys next week. Daddy, a gun.